God, we know that you love them, that you chose them, that you have a purpose for each person in that country. A time of prayer for Ukraine. Behold our King. Some of the few dozen people inside North Davis Church of Christ in Arlington Saturday call Ukraine a second home. Behold our God. Yeah, so we spent 20 years in Ukraine working with orphans and at-risk families. Andrew and Jenny Kelly returned to Texas six months ago. There's people that were in our wedding that are still there and, you know, they're trying to decide what to do. Unaware, a new wave of conflict could be coming to Ukraine. And we're trying to figure out when do we evacuate our kids and move them west and how to do that with the government's permission. These missionaries still run an orphanage in a town just northwest of the capital of Kyiv. The U.S. believes the capital will be one of Russia's targets. They will be in the path of the invasion. Roxanne Lowe travels to teach the Bible to children in the orphanage. Her message? I care about you and I love you. And I want you to be safe. There's a banner on the wall marked with real foot and handprints of Ukrainian children. The hands and feet that you see up here, those kids are now late teens and early 20s. Children who fled when Russia invaded Crimea and took it from Ukraine in 2014. And now today they face the possibility of having to flee again. It's a dangerous situation. People here pray fades away. We pray that you would surround that nation, that you would place your angels on each border, and that you would protect Ukraine.